Gmail.com, past performance is the best indicator of future success. In this presentation, we, we intend to show you how Beyonce's success is today is the best indicator of her success in the future. Beyonce's musical career began at age seven. This gives her a lot of experience within the music industry. If she, if she is able to be around for 24 years, we believe she will be able to continue her success for years to come. Beyonce started performing at talent shows at the age of seven. After talent shows, she joined a girl singing group managed by her father. In 1997, Destiny's Child signed with Columbia Records and Beyonce took the lead. Beyonce launched her solo career in 2003 and has been successful ever since. And now here's Marissa with Beyonce's talent and success in the music industry. Beyonce's success in Destiny's Child caused her to launch a solo career. She debuted in 1998 with Destiny's Child and since then has contributed or made 18 albums. Seven of those were solo albums. Her most popular album is self-titled Beyonce and it has a total sale to date of 2.3 million copies. This album also gave Beyonce her fifth consecutive number one in the Billboard Top 100, 100 chart. She is most well known for her three hit singles, Irreplaceable, Single Ladies, and Crazy, and Crazy in Love, as said by AboutEntertainment.com. Her music was one of the main causes of Beyonce's success, and proof of that is the numerous awards that she has won in the past. Beyonce is world-renowned for her continuing talent in the music industry. She won her first Grammy Award in 2001 with Destiny's Child for Say My Name, which she co-wrote. Since then, she has been nominated for 329 different awards and has won one-third of those nominations. She has won 11 awards that begin with Best Female, and 15 Grammys are under her name. Beyonce has won these awards because of her talent as well as her dedication to her goal of being a successful artist. And now here's Mike to talk about the quality of Beyonce's music and her management style. Boy. Beyonce is celebrated for her wide vocal range of powerful lyrics. Her music has been number, rated number one on various top charts such as Billboard Top 100, iTunes, and by Rolling Stone. Beyonce's record label, Music World Entertainment, has been around since 2002. It has produced many other award-winning artists like Rick Ross, Lil Wayne, Mario, and Chris Brown. She is part of Parkwood Entertainment. She is the founder and CEO. She is her own manager. And now Francesca is going to discuss her successful marketing strategy and multiple revenue streams. Drive around at the partition, please. Beyonce has had many commercial sponsorships with companies such as Pepsi, L'Oreal, and H&M. She's worked with many different designers such as Tommy Hilfiger and has also created different fragrances. In 2013, she became a brand ambassador for Pepsi, which included a $50 million global deal campaign, which called for her to have a creative say in different TV spots and print ads. Her big Pepsi ad was called Mirrors, and consisted of her from her days in Destiny's Child to her present solo career. She's not just an entertainer, but a businesswoman, because she's been able to have her hands in many different businesses, business deals, like the ones I mentioned above, and she's able to market herself and her brand. And because of this, Beyonce is more of a transformative leader because she uses social and emotional intelligence to help inspire others to reach their vision. In 2013, she released her self-titled album, Beyonce, which sold 800,000 copies within the first 30 days of being released. In comparison with Lady Gaga, whose current album sold 305,000 copies, and Katy Perry's, which sold 200, 1,086 copies. Um, they also marketed their albums in a more traditional way where they released different singles from their albums and went on different interviews and also both appeared on SNL to help promote their albums. Beyonce took a different approach with her album. It was released without any notice and it was also basically marketed through word of mouth through different social media websites like Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, which had never been seen or done by most artists. She claimed in many different articles that she was bored of releasing her music the traditional way, which she had done with her past albums. Now here's Caroline with her enthusiastic fan base. I'm not a diva. I'm not a diva. I'm not a diva. Beyonce's fans are called the Beehive. She has a strong internet fan base with over 65 million likes on Facebook, 13.6 million likes on 
uh, followers on Twitter, and in comparison, her husband, Jay-Z, only has 3 million followers on Twitter. Uh, she has uh, almost 19 million followers on Instagram. She, uh, and she totals nearly 100 million fans online. There are five different types of Beyonce followers. The Isolates, who enjoy her music on the radio but don't really uh, seek it out. The Bystanders, who enjoy her music and only own a few songs. The Participants, uh, who follow her life uh, and own all of her songs. The Activists, um, who are active members of the Beehive. And the Diehards, who go to every concert and own all of her products. Her most recent tour, called On the Run, featuring both her and her husband, Jay-Z, um, sold out in minutes. The average price of the ticket um, on the secondary market was $342.67. The tour was so popular that there was enough demand for extra tour dates. Um, the extra tour dates were added both nationally and two in Paris. The two in Paris um, sold 90,000 tickets in under two hours. The tour grossed over 100 million in ticket sales alone. Next is Irene with the overview of her career to date. Beyonce's career path has taken her down many roles, giving her experience with many different aspects in the entertainment industry as well as the business industry. Starting off in 1990, Beyonce became a part of the singing group Destiny's Child, and in 2003, she released her debut solo album, Dangerously in Love, marking the start of her solo career in singing. She also had her acting debut when she starred in MTV's Carmen, a hip hop role in 2001, making her presence in the entertainment world more pronounced. Going even further than any other star had before, she expanded her influence into the business world when she launched the fragrance Heat. In 2012, when she gave birth to her daughter, Blue Ivy, she stepped away from the spotlight to embrace motherhood. However, she soon returned with an even larger image when she released her fifth solo album titled after her name, Beyonce. In the same year, she, beca she became the brand ambassador of Pepsi, giving her a spot in the advertising industry. As can be seen on this timeline, Beyonce has gone beyond a typical singer and actor. She has touched upon the entertainment domain as well as the business domain. And finally, I'll pass it over to Linda. To the left, to the left. As the group has discussed, Beyonce has enjoyed a successful career over two decades. Thanks in part to her incredibly large fan base her successful management style, and her success as a businesswoman. In addition, she has earned an incredibly large number of awards. Beyonce has been in this industry since 1990. She has even taken a musical step towards the future, offered a fresh and new voice, creative strength, and conviction. She reinvented herself and has become the most successful female solo artist. Beyonce has been in this industry for 24 years. It's for this reason that we have that we feel Beyonce will have the most successful career from this point forward. If you have a group A, we want to thank you for watching.